Today, I'm gonna to be showing you exactly how you can do unlimited automations for free. And if you're watching this video, it's probably because you wanna save a bunch of money on automations and I'm gonna make your life a lot easier. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. Recently, I've been using Make and N8N over the last nine months. And I'll tell you what, I got a client that needed 120,000 minutes of voice AI every month. If you know anything about the complexity of what we build, we're gonna need a lot of automations for that. With make.com, we actually estimated it was gonna be $5,200 every single month. With this, our new cost is only $30 per month. So if you haven't heard, or if you live under a rock, NADN is an open source tool, and it allows you to connect stuff like webhooks to other third-party services, like Slack, Google Sheets, even custom API calls. And the really cool thing about it is you can self-host it, meaning you can actually have this on your computer, make calls to it, and it will respond for free. Obviously, that's not ideal, especially because most of the time you want to use this for high volume. So what we've done is we've actually been able to use render.com for free to host this. Now, I say for free because you can actually use render.com for free, but you do have to pay for your space. And that's going to cost you probably seven to twenty seven bucks in that range. So it's as pretty close to free as possible. I mean, compared to the fifty two hundred bucks, that's pretty good. This may sound like it's really intimidating or hard to do, and I can guarantee you right now it's not. It's going to take you a couple minutes to set up. There's just a couple things I want to cover in this video that way you know how to use this effectively and use their lifetime activation codes the right way. And I really got into this because I've been doing this for about a year and I've been helping really big clients. I, I got this guy who's doing 120,000 minutes of voice AI every single month and that's costing him a lot of money, especially because a lot of those are using open AI modules. And if you're trying to save money on that, I got another video for you. But with that being said, guys, let's jump right into the video. Please make sure to like, subscribe and hit the bell because it's free and it really helps me. I'll see you on the other side. All right, so once we're in render.com, go to just go to render.com, sign up for an account, it's free. Once your workspace is created, it's gonna look like this. You can see I already have an N8N, but we're gonna make a new one just for the sake of the video. So click on projects under your workspace. We're gonna add new web service. Now here's where you can add GitHub, like, uh, excuse me, Git repositories if you, if you have any. I've actually added one to N8N. This is kind of like the hard way to do it. In our case, we're gonna just click on existing image and then we're gonna paste this, n8n.io slash n8n, just like that. Next thing, you'll just click connect, but you also wanna add some other, um, you know, instant types, which we'll get into as well. So I'm just gonna click connect for now, name it whatever you want. I'm gonna just select my region. I'm in Las Vegas, so Oregon is the region. Now for hobby projects, it's gonna be $0. Why do you not want this? Because if you keep it like this, it will turn off and erase everything you've ever done. Uh, so you definitely wanna make sure that you're on starter for seven bucks a month. That way you have zero downtime, it's always working. Especially you're, you know, if you're making API requests, you're gonna need that. So make sure you click starter under advanced. You know, you can add a disk as well. This is important, you wanna add a disk you could just say like main, just type in main right here. Whoops, maybe slash. Yeah. And then you can select however many you want. I, you know, you can always increase it later. Just start with a gigabyte. You're going to need this because this is how you're going to save all your automations. Um, so like, you know, in case N8N updates or something, you don't lose everything. And like it starts as if it were brand new. So make sure you have a disk on there. Make sure you have an instance type, at least the starter. And that's it. You're going to click deploy web service. This is going to pop up. You'll see shortly, it's going to be like a terminal with a bunch of code and you'll see it kind of starting up here. Um, and that's it. Just wait 10 minutes. If you're doing it exactly as you saw in the video, it should be working completely fine. I'm going to pause it right here and then bring it back once everything is just done loading. It's going to say live right here once it's done right now, it just says in progress. And then in the terminal, it says starting service. You're just going to see a bunch of stuff pop up here. Uh, just let it, just let it do its thing. And uh, we'll come back once it's done. Okay, so now we can see that it's live. I'm just going to click this link. And it's going to take me to set up the owner account. So I'm just going to enter like a random email. I'm just going to do like 10 minute mail. Okay, I got all my information in there. I'm gonna click next.
And now it's going to ask you like random questions. It's a survey. You don't have to fill it out. Fill it out if you want to, I guess. It's really just for an end to know. <clears throat> and then right here, so get paid features for free forever. And then enter the email to receive your license key. So I'm just going to put the same one. Click send. So it says check your email, then find your license, head over to usage and plan to activate your license. So let's check the email, see what we got. Your free N8N license key to unlock select paid features. Here we go. So here's my license key. Just going to copy that. Go back into N8N. <clears throat> In this case, you can just click settings or here, bottom left settings. Usage and plans right here. Enter activation key. Just paste what I got from the email. And that's it. We're good to go. Now you can officially do automations forever for free. And there's something to know here because you're setting everything up on render. And this is very important if you're doing workflows. I'm just going to show you one example of what I'm talking about when you're doing a workflow. Let's just set up a webhook. If you notice, this URL is localhost5678. This will not work because this is not your N8N URL. So if I'm going to do a, a webhook, I'm going to copy the webhook. And the URL, you can see it says localhost, but the URL is different. So I'm just going to copy this URL for render, the one that render gave me right here. And then if I'm going to do the request, it won't work unless I actually put in the full URL like this. Then I can do a request to that web uh, to that webhook. It's just something to know, something that I noticed when using N8N locally on render. So it's really that simple. That's it. We did it! We did it! We did it! We did it! It's pretty simple stuff. I mean, for the most part, there was just a couple things, like I said, I wanted to show you. So if you want us to set this stuff up for your business, click that first link in the description. If you want to do it yourself or you want to see some more, I got a bunch of free stuff for you in the second link. So please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell because it's free and it really helps me. I'll see you guys when I see you guys.